There are two great luminaries, the sun and the moon. The sun lights up the day and the moon lights up the night. Now, if you had to think or ask, which one is doing a better job, the sun or the moon? Obviously, the sun lights up the day. The moon does not light up the night because the night is dark, even with a full moon. So if the, if the mission and the purpose of the moon is to illuminate the night, it's not doing its job. The moon allows us to see the beauty of the darkness. And that is the essence of the idea of modesty of Tzniyut. The beauty, the power of what is not seen. The wisdom and the power of what is not said. Women, of course, identify with the moon. Men identify with the sun. So let's take a look at the three mitzvot that women are in charge of. The mikveh, the Shabbos candles, and the challah. Mikveh is creating another person. It's not plumbing. It's not mechanical. It's something miraculous and soulful. You create a child with your neshama. Because what you're creating is life, not just flesh and blood. And in order for the soul to be involved, you need to have the holiness of the mikvah. To make the body that goes to the mikvah a little more transparent and let the soul shine through. The next mitzvah is Shabbos candles. To keep the family spirit, the family atmosphere, uh, what it should be. It's not enough to have furniture, to have a house, to have all the physical stuff. There's also a mood, a tone, something subtle that keeps a family together. Who appreciates that? That's again the woman. The third thing which we want to talk about mainly is the challah. The Jew has a neshama, represented by the candle. You have a body, represented by mikveh, because you're going to reproduce a child in a body. And then there are the things you use, you take from the world in order to support body and soul. That's the challah. What do you do? You're baking challah because you need to eat. But you take a piece of that challah before you even bake it up. And you give it away to godliness. You elevate it to godliness. There's something much more subtle before you sit down to eat. The woman senses that before you even touch the challah, First, you give a piece to Hashem. That is the whole purpose of creation, to bring the Shekhinah, to bring God down to the lowest level. There is what men would recognize as the lowest level, eating. The woman says, no, no, before you even get to eating, the object itself, not the activity, the, the material, the flour, the water, the yeast, that has to become holy before you can enjoy the mitzvah that you're going to do with these objects. That's really lifting the world from the bottom. That is the power of the challah.